The RBA kept rates at a record low. Today I'm joined by Stan Shamu, market strategist at IG Markets in Melbourne. So Stan, did the RBA Governor Glenn Stevens say anything new or was the statement pretty much the same as last time? Well, the statement was uh, very much unchanged from the, from the previous one. I think uh, there had been a lot of talk by some analysts around the fact that maybe the RBA might turn a little bit more dovish. But this turned, to, turned out not to be the case. Uh, but there was one new line in the statement uh, which essentially said um, that uh, the, the strength in the Australian dollar is making it harder to achieve balanced growth in the local economy. So that, that probably was the only difference from the previous statement as everything else was quite identical with the RBA basically saying that um, they feel that um, we will see a prolonged period of stable rates. So uh, I, I think this has really uh, squashed any uh, feelings that we might see uh, another rate cut in the short term and it really does look like the RBA will be on hold for a long period of time. RBA board member John Edwards said in a paper released last week that Australia can weather the slump in mining investment and Japan could actually return as the nation's biggest trading partner, spurred by increasing liquefied natural gas exports. Now Stan, would you agree with John Edwards' views? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a very good chance that this could happen. Uh, already out of uh, Japan, we've uh, seen a record amount of um, uh, buying of Australian bonds, and that's really been one of the uh, main reasons that's been holding uh, the Australian dollar quite firmly. Uh, at the same time, uh, Japanese companies have uh, significant cash holdings at the moment, and it looks like they're looking to boost uh, investment. Uh, and of course, with um, uh, plenty of growth initiatives in uh, Japan, uh, then perhaps their export market will need plenty of commodities uh, for, for manufacturing. So ultimately, Australia could benefit from this. And we're already, um, Japan's, uh, our, Japan's already our second largest trading partner after China. So it's not too surprising to see um, Japan look to pick up uh, further trade with this Australia. The renewed strength of the Aussie dollar is having an adverse impact on manufacturing, which has now been in decline for eight consecutive months. Stan, when do you think we will start to see some sort of improvement in this sector? I think uh, manufacturing in Australia has been, a, has been a dormant industry for a while. I think it's not just the strong Australian dollar that's hurt the industry. Uh, there's also just exceptionally high costs of uh, manufacturing in Australia, which have really held back um, some of the key companies. I think recently we saw uh, some of the big uh, uh, car manufacturers in particular closing shop in Australia. And uh, this really does show that uh, productivity-wise, it remains a bit of a challenge. Uh, but I think having said that, uh, there, there is room for uh, improvement if, if uh, some sort of efficiencies can be achieved. Uh, but uh, certainly, uh, manufacturing is not one of our strong points. And last question, Stan, what do you think will be the main driving factors for the Aussie dollar? And what is your forecast against its US rival? I think for now we'll continue to see how the Aussie dollar is relatively range bound. Uh, I think um, the, the current situation really shows that um, whilst um, the, the economy hasn't quite picked up locally, uh, there's really no rush for the RBA to, um, to, to, to cut rates and as a result, uh, the, the, lim the options towards uh, bringing the Australian dollar lower are very limited. Uh, even if they do talk it down, I think uh, a lot of uh, investors will question exactly what sort of action they could take to actually bring the Aussie dollar down. So as a result, this is probably going to see traders look to buy the dips in the Australian dollar. So if anything, I think we could actually see the Australian dollar start to push higher. And uh, if the RBA really wants to see the Australian dollar lower, then perhaps they'll have to cut rates again later in the year. Um, but at the moment, it doesn't seem like that's the uh, course that they're looking to take. Stan, thank you very much for taking some time out of your day. Well, viewers, that is all for right now. But do stay tuned as there are plenty more interviews just like this one heading your way. See you very soon.